Hey everybody, we are on for another Monday night and I know some of you will be shocked to find out that it's Monday again. Equally as shocked as I am because I'm recording this Sunday night because I have something I have to go and do tomorrow night. So I have a close friend who is in a bit of bother health-wise so I've got to go and do some work there and, and uh, see if I get him back on his feet. But anyway, here we are, Monday night. It's all good, got this. What you don't need is someone trying to pour coffee into a cup for you like that. That is a really bad idea. But what I have discovered is you can get one of these. And for those serious coffee drinkers like me, that's 1.2 litres. Just saying, 1.2 litres, that's what you need. And then, bliss. That's what it's all about. Hey everybody, if you're on YouTube watching this recording, as most of you will be, if you would like to pause and read through the disclaimer, basically we are not giving financial advice, we're sharing information with you that we have discovered and we hope that you can take advantage of some of the information we share on a Monday night. We're here to talk about Sarah and Boy, isn't that going along at a rate of knots. We are achieving all sorts of issues that we're kicking out of the way and sorting. There's a lot of changes coming in the website to make it smoother, faster, easier. But at the moment, we're doing okay. So we're here talking about Avanoc, the hybrid winding protocol, Gold tokens coming, VU underway, Desert Pearl underway, Neo Credit, the core of the banking system. XGI, the payment section of the business, and Zera, and our new token, which are in the in process of being delivered as we speak, the Layer K token. So if you hold Zanique tokens now, you can convert them, or they will be converted, or you can convert them into layer K at a flat rate, which is very healthy. And they will do a similar job to our old Zenith coins, but they're really upmarket. We, they've added steroids to it. So here we are on the 24th of June, boy, almost at the exact halfway point of the year. I have to look around and think what happened to the first lot? That being the first six months of the year. We are a few days away from being in the final half of 2024. So a few months away from 2025. It just amazes me every week when I do this, what that date is. Here's our slogan, everyone goes forward together and we mean it. We've been doing a lot of work in the last few days on making sure that everyone's getting the best value out of what they hold. And our partners in that are Layer K, Zera, and Neo One. So Neo One's the banking system. We don't have that license here yet, but it will be delivered towards the end of the year, maybe early next year. It's not far away, however. Keep an eye out for the updating black square I hope they remember to put it up when they are updating next time, but there are lots of changes coming to our system between now and the 15th of July. Lots of changes. So we just need to make sure that we're paying attention. I want to touch on these timelines again. The Zanik token exchange to EURKV until the 12th of July. The two pan exchange until the 12th of July. The quantwise purchase using EURKV is now open until the 12th of July. And after that, you can still buy it, but you use a different token, a converted one. Quantwise lifetime license expires on the 12th of July, 2024. And after the 12th of July, can only be purchased monthly, monthly, and that's actually quite expensive. So if you think you're already a member and you think you may want to have 
a Quantwise license down the road, I suggest you buy it now while you while you can get it with the EURKV and sit on it until you're ready to activate it. It won't go away. You won't lose your lifetime license. You can just basically park on it and see what happens. So, EURKV 100% volume points. Now, for those of us that have a network, volume points are a good thing. You get paid for those. But that doesn't change if you're in this on your own. Um, this is still a cash cow. So that then means that you can spend EURKV and they're basically a derivative of the two pans. So they're really good value for those of us that have got them. Cloth of July onwards, you can only swap EURKV into vouchers. So you can use them personally and promo can be moved around the place. So vouchers are only 10% volume points. So if you have a team and you want to take advantage of the 100% volume points, you need to do it before the 12th of July. So after the 15th of June, EURKV gets converted into vouchers and vouchers can only be used for personal purchases. It will count as 10% of the volume points of the purchase value and you can swap EURKV into EURK promo after the 15th of June, it will be active and they have a better volume points process and you can use them for 50% of any purchase. So again, that's still a pretty good deal. Not as good as we've got now, but it's still a good deal. So if you want to do something in the next couple of weeks, do it before your EURKV transfers into these other uh, products. So we're going to talk about reloading licenses tonight and I have detailed a process to do that. If you have minting licenses in Kmall, they are, as far as I can work out, the easiest system to use at this point in the evolution of the Zera products. And this is my opinion only, it's not coming from the company. I'm just seeing what's involved and I absolutely cannot be any more rosy about it. They're the simplest way to do it and they have an amazing outcome. So let's have a run through and look at the outcomes from this option. So remember there are three platforms, Quantwise, Layer K and Wipe. Layer K is the easiest option, get a license, drop some CLFI on it and watch it grow. There's no tricky manipulation, it's just that simple. So here's our friend that we've been following for the last month or two and you can see that in this scan of his website, he's got 283.95 staked CLFI. That's 59.74% of his license capacity. You can also see that he's got two licenses there. This is from last week. You can see he's got some rewards there that he's earned. Looking healthy. That's a great graph. And you can see there's a couple of places where there were top ups done. So he's got 576 USD in the, in the system. That will kick out about 73 US dollars per month in tokens that he can turn into cash. Now, you can see here that the reward numbers are different. And that would be because that's what he's earned in three days. If you have a look down the bottom here, all of his rewards were claimed on the 20th of this month. And since then, so that's three days from when I'm making this recording, he's earned 4.44 CLFIWs, 
CLFI Rs. That's an amazing outcome. Three days. So what does that look like on the top end of that page? Well, he had 283.95. Now he's got 333.99. Now, we've talked about this before, that to withdraw and relocate, you've got to have more than 51 CLFI. Well, we've now worked out how to do that on an internal transfer. So you need to have about 32 to make sure everything goes through nice and smooth. Um, this guy had quite a considerable chunk more than 32. And you can also see that he now has three licenses. So why another license? Let's have a look at that by going to view my licenses. So here's a screenshot of his first license. And at first you look at this and think, okay, what's the big deal? Well, here in the top line, you can see that that license is at capacity. 220 euros of 220 euros available. And it expires in 881 days. So it's going to continue to pay rewards out for another 881 days. That's astounding. So here's the next license that he's got, because he had three. You can see that that license has 400 euros of 660 available. So that's about two thirds full. Now we've got zero of 880, so it's empty. That's why he needed another license because this one is already two thirds full. So he's in a position where every 30 days he has tokens to reload without putting any money in. Now, where did he get the money to buy the next license? That came from EURKV, where he had two pens and they converted into EURKV and he bought that new license. So it's a substantial license. Now, the other thing that's coming after the 15th of July is we technically should be able to load project licenses, project tokens, sorry, like City, Nomo, all those types of things. We can load half on the license that we have for EURK. So that license there will take 880 EURK and I will be able to load for him 440 euros of token license, tokens from those projects. 17.5% was added to his licenses simply by taking the rewards and reloading them onto the license. The rewards do not automatically load at the moment. Notice there's a reload button there in the middle that is gray and it says coming soon. I am hopeful, but I have not been told this is accurate. I'm hopeful that that reload button will happen after the 15th because I'm figuring it's part of 2.0, the back office. But we will see. Every four weeks, he now can add the minting value that he's earned back onto the license. That is a great slash fantastic outcome for this member. So while he's lounging about, sipping his beers, watching telly, doing whatever he wants to do, these licenses are working and they will continue to work. For this one on the front, 923 days. That's a good outcome. So, in the meantime, I thought, I'll just check and see how much he's earned in CLFIR. CLFIR stands for reuse. So you can reuse those CLFI to buy another license. And you can see that he already has enough CLFIR there 
to buy another license. He can do a 110 euro license tomorrow with those tokens. That is phenomenal because now he doesn't have to add any more money to what he's already got in there. It will continue to improve in value as time goes on and he can continue to supply licenses based on what he earns. He's already got enough there to purchase that next license. And every four weeks, he can increase his minting power. So here are the licenses that you can step up to. You can use CLFIR or EURKV to purchase those licenses. He's earning CLFIR. He has a bunch of EURKV from his two pan licenses and he can buy any of those licenses at any point. There are bigger licenses available if you have uh, that sort of capacity, but let's just stay focused here because we can see this. I like watching this guy's website because you can see it incrementally get faster and faster and faster, and it's working phenomenally well. So he started off, we, last week we talked about adding 51 CLFI. That's an 18% increase in staking power. Where else can you compound like that? Well, what he ended up with was 102 USD going in there. That's 43% in three months and seven days he's been rewarded. 43% in three months and seven days. Show me something else where you can compound like this and withdraw the proceeds if you want them. It is a rewards program. It's not anything like an interest thing because it comes from work that these licenses do on the blockchain. So it is in fact a rewards program. It's just a rewards program on steroids. This is phenomenal. And that's what we're seeing happen. This graph just gets stronger every week. So remember, in Zera, you've got K mall. That's where you can deal with Quantwise, Layer K, Wallach, and Neo One. Layer K and its licenses, to me, are the best value because they're simple. Uh, we've got plenty of members that have gone into Quantwise, uh, people that are trying Wallach, NEO 1 will come when the license is approved here. So for all those people that are complaining about or asking questions about is it is this some sort of legal structure, the reason NEO 1 isn't here is it doesn't have a license. What we have in front of us is a loyalty rewards program. NEO 1 is bringing the financial services to this world and when that license is approved, it will be launched. So there's another email doing the rounds that's based on some very erroneous stories that were published in Europe a while ago. Um, this is just beyond bizarre to me that people want to believe somebody who has no idea how our system works, but they're absolutely committed to the fact that surely there must be something wrong here. Well, the last time this happened, we were still in the Sophia window and the company bounced that individual very, very hard. I expect the same thing to happen here. And, you know, given that there are already financial licenses issued and more coming through that are very hard to get, expect some fur to be flying from the instigator of this in the next couple of weeks. I'm astounded that you can look at a business like this and see, Hang on, they got a financial license in North America and Europe, the European Union, they're fully licensed. The rest of them they're catching up with, but they started in the European Union. So getting those licenses is not easy. If there was any shady activity going on, we would not have those licenses. So just, yeah, I mean, the, the emails are going to come for the next week or so, I would think. There will be all sorts of ducking and weaving happening as lawyers get hold of this individual and we'll see what the outcome is. I am quite entertained by thinking about 
how badly this dude's going to get mauled by a bunch of lawyers. Anyway, coming soon, the 14th of July, I'm going to say the 15th because we're a day ahead, the digital exchange, the decentralized digital exchange so that we know it's safe. We've waited a very long time for this and Cloud K 2.0. So lots of the things I've been talking about like um, uprated compounding, so the button in the back office that you can click and automate your compounding, I believe that's coming in Cloud K 2.0. Here's some robot information. This was astounding when I saw this come across my eyeballs. Kimmy is capable of serving 253 items per hour, including beer, wine, coffee, snacks, and more. Kimmy, Mako Robotics Humanoid Robotic Bartender, serves beer, coffee, wine, etc., etc. Each Kimmy kiosk is able to dispense 253 items an hour and features a touchscreen and app enabled ordering, plus a built in payment system. So, anybody that's in the hospitality industry should be concerned about this type of thing because. There's an entire genera of generations of people that have earned money in their early days behind a bar. And here is already developed an entire ecosystem around dispensing alcohol in a bar and they don't need any humans. Have a look at this lady. She's poking the cheek of a robot built in her image. And that is just spooky because we already have artificial intelligence derived videos where I defy somebody to see whether it's artificial or real. And here we are now building robots that can go in the AI video and you will not know who's who and who's real and who's not. And this is what has been engineered in a number of places, robots that look like that, but compare that to the robot on the left. Outstanding, lots of information coming. And then you're gonna have the little ones that sort of they're bipedal and they'll look a bit like a human, but they don't try and copy humans. This is a spooky period of time to be alive in, to see this coming to reality in front of our eyes. And if you want to see a movie about robots and how they develop. Watch the movie called iRobot. The book was written by Isaac Asimov. It's confronting. I'll say that. So how is our world going? Here we are looking at a series called Big Short 2.0. Uh, this guy just does an amazing job of getting to the macroeconomics well worth a listen. And interest rate warning from Florian Heiser saying interest rates are not coming down anytime soon. So if you're holding a big mortgage thinking the interest rate's gonna go down, he doesn't think it will. And here we go, petrodollar. This is Kitco News and they're talking about what's going to happen when the petrodollar no longer has power. And He's talking about it could be catastrophic for the US. Now, if it's catastrophic for the US, that will trickle down onto us. Um, but in simple terms, what it will do is limit the world patrolling, for example, the US Navy. They send a warship to the Pacific and they need to refuel in Singapore. What if the people doing the refueling won't accept US dollars? That's going to be a very ticklish situation, but lots of other reasons why it's a, it's a bad thing. So just time to make sure that you're at least getting down the road of being able to debank yourself. Luckily, we have the tools here to do that. Zera and AU for you. They're coming together and it is delivering. These are the media channels. Please take some time to follow the official channels. Pause this if you want to write down some channels. It's well worth following. And we're here 
talking about Zara, I believe. I have looked at this from every angle and I cannot find a hole in it. Better hardware, same job, individual ownership means decentralization, coming to a town near you. So thanks everybody for joining us. That's us for tonight. There won't be any questions tonight because I'm pre-recording this so I can do some things tomorrow afternoon and evening that I have to do. So we hope you enjoy this. I will send this link out by email uh, Monday afternoon so that everyone has it and has the ability to log in and make sure they get this information. Working out how to reload your licenses is an absolute stunning outcome because that is going to increase our compounding at a rate of knots. Astounding. Okay, everybody, thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you on the golden beaches of the world. Have a great night.